There have been several enhancements and new features for 3D views in Chief Architect X17. Let's begin with the text annotations in 3D. In X16, we introduced 3D dimensions. In this release, we added text in 3D. From a 3D view, select the text tool, click to establish the plane, and then enter the text. On the options panel is a setting for the text to face the camera depending on your preference. When you single click on the text edit handle, a new 3D edit behavior displays to move the text to a specific plane. I will show more on this tool in a sample plumbing plan. Labels will also display in 3D when the layer is on, and you can control how the label is displayed on the label panel or in the text style defaults. The text will be saved with the camera. It can be isolated by layer and are a great way to annotate your views for clients or contractors. In this 3D plumbing plan, I can use the 3D edit behavior to adjust the plumbing lines. When I click on the end, I can use the 3D edit behavior to select the plane direction. I can then make the edit in that plane. It saves time by avoiding edits that may require separate elevation views or plan views to adjust these 3D objects. A new stationary walkthrough tool is available to create sun studies. Using the stationary walkthrough, you can animate a time lapse to show how sunlight and shadows interact with your design by day or seasonally. From a 3D view, select the stationary walkthrough tool and define the settings for duration, interpolation type, either time lapse or seasonal, and then the time range. The program uses that information to generate a sun study style walkthrough with time references. The video can be saved on your Chief Architect Cloud account and shared with your clients. With the new camera setting for water animation, these stationary walkthroughs can include the added sense of movement. Walkthrough keyframes can be multi-selected to make editing easier for similar changes. Keyframes also have a pause direction to create a freeze frame effect for your virtual tours. Finally, sun angles can be derived from a specific frame in the walkthrough. You can use that new sun angle for renderings or walkthroughs. Similar to doors, windows can be displayed open in both 2D and 3D views. From a 3D view, you can click on the window and use the Display Open tool in the lower toolbar. To display windows open in 2D, in the Windows Dialog Options panel, Select the Open checkbox, helpful to visualize. On the General panel, you can define the window's swing angle. Our rendering tools have been improved to better visualize both large and small spaces in two ways. First, the 3D cross-section slider is now dynamic. You can make adjustments to the slider, interact with the design, Make further slider adjustments without continually opening and closing the tool. Second, the camera setting to hide exterior facing items now hides items attached to the walls like cabinets, doors, and windows, making it easier to see into small rooms and spaces. A dimming feature has been introduced to change the brightness of lights. Dimming can be accomplished three different ways. First, it can be done at the light itself using an Adjust Brightness tool, including the option to turn the light off and on. Second, dimming can be done at the switch for all of the connected lights, a quick way to adjust several lights. And third, through the Adjust Lights dialog and defining the brightness setting. Lights can be dimmed for all rendering techniques, but the effects are most noticeable in the PBR-based views. Anisotropic materials are supported in PBR ray trace views, which will spread light in a more realistic, non-uniform distribution. On the stainless steel table base, you will find a new setting on the Material Property panel. When I turn the anisotropy off, you can see the effect of the light compared to when it is on. The rotation setting allows you to adjust that material further, depending on your design. 
Material maps are also supported for anisotropy and rotation. They will be included in Chief Architect materials as they are updated. A new interactive material editor can be used in 3D to scale, rotate, and offset materials, making it much easier to modify. Found in the 3D menu under Adjust Materials, click on the material to access the reticle. The square handle will change the offset. The circle handle will scale the material uniformly, and the square handles at the ends of the triangle leg segments will scale in the horizontal or vertical directions. Finally, the triangular handle will change the rotation. Interactive material editing directly affects the X and Y scale, horizontal offset, vertical offset, and angle fields on the texture panel of the Material Edit dialog. The tool works in standard, PBR, watercolor, and clay render views. If you plan to use it for a tile installation diagram from an elevation, be sure that Keep Pattern, Texture and Sync checkbox is selected. Several years ago, Chief Architect implemented an external tool from Adobe to create custom tile, hardwood, masonry, and other materials. In X17, we integrated this material builder tool into our program, making the process much easier. You can access the Material Builder from the 3D menu, choose the type of material to create, and then make the material by defining its parameters including grout color. Once you have created the perfect material, use the Add to Library option to import it and the related material maps. There are many great new features in Chief Architect X17, and you can expect to see it in Q2 of 2025. And remember, all software subscriptions include access to the latest version. So, if you are not currently a customer, get started today with Chief Architect.